Hello, Dr. K. I watch CSI, NCIS and Criminal Minds. I want to have an exciting career as a forensic psychologist. What do you find exciting about forensic psychology? You get to help the police catch serial killers and profile sexual perverts and explore the minds and behavior of all kinds of maniacs and psychopaths. Well, Marcy, that is not exactly the case. Most law enforcement agencies resent us with our ivory tower PhDs. And we are not trained in criminalistics, crime scene investigation or other forensic science techniques. But don't you create a profile of the perpetrator so that the police can trace him to his lair and arrest him? Not exactly, Marcy. The FBI Behavioral Science Unit in Quantico hired many of us back in the day. Until they found out we were expensive, didn't fit in with the police culture and never caught anyone. Oh. However, we were sought after to appear on talk shows and write many books and TV scripts. But, Dr. K, that is not what a highly trained behavioral scientist is supposed to do. Can't you help the police solve crimes by getting inside the mind of the criminal? Marcy, dear, a psychologist finds all types of human behavior fascinating and worthy of empirical study. Criminal behavior is just an extreme variant. If we could think like a criminal we would probably be a criminal. Gee, Dr. K, you are bursting my bubble about the excitement of forensic psychology. If you don't catch criminals what do you do? We have a unique role as expert witnesses the only citizens who by virtue of their special training and experience are permitted to testify in court about their opinion rather than just the facts. Awesome. Our job is to assist the triers of fact, the judge and the jury, in understanding the psychological issues that impact the legal matter being tried. Oh? Now you mean like law and order? Well, sort of. We come into the case after the handcuffs are slapped on. We use our skills as trained clinicians to examine the defendant to determine whether they suffer from a mental illness or are just faking to cop an insanity plea. Oh so forensic psychologists are like human lie detectors. We do the best we can in applying the crude tests and methods that are available to us in a new and developing science. PET scans and other neuroimaging techniques show promise for sharper diagnosing and ruling out malingering. You can't fake a brain scan. Dr. K at least it must make you feel important to be called an expert. Not really, Marcy. Being pounded for days on the witness stand by opposing counsel who is trying their best to make you look like a fraud and an idiot can make you feel very humbled. You might even begin to question your own sanity for choosing to put yourself in that position. Gee I feel so discouraged. Maybe I should just stay in the clinical program and work in psychiatric hospitals where it is safe and rewarding helping patients. I didn't mean to dissuade you, Marcy. I just wanted to give you a reality check. I think I understand. Forensic psychologists don't just work with criminals. They apply their skills to many other areas of the law that really help people. Like disability determinations, discrimination cases, medical malpractice, legal competency, personal injury, child custody evaluations. They also work in forensic units in hospitals, family court, juvenile detention centers, substance abuse clinics, sex offender treatment programs, and psychiatric infirmaries and prison so you might even consider teaching forensic psychology at the graduate level. That's really exciting. Thanks, Dr. K for opening my eyes to other opportunities in the field of forensic psychology. Great. I think you're on the right career track. Take many courses in clinical, neuropsychology and become proficient in psychological testing. Explore science electives. And really master the art of clear expository writing. A persuasive and well-written forensic report can make or break a case. Just one problem. It takes many years of schooling and it is very expensive to get a PhD. Is it worth it in the end? If forensic psychology is your passion, you will find it satisfying every day of your career. At its most noble, you will be affecting the administration of justice. 
On a more practical note, because of the challenges and risks inherent in forensic work, it is one of the more highly paid specialty areas in psychology. Gee, you have given me a lot to think about. Good luck, Marcy. There are many more worthwhile and exciting things to do as a forensic psychologist than chasing serial killers. You can make a real difference in society. And for fun? Someday I could go on talk shows and write many books and TV scripts and inspire students to become forensic psychologists. If you have questions about forensic psychology, I invite you to visit barbarakerwin.com.